Alright, we're back and we finally got enough money and we're going to pay this thing off. They're forcing us to pay. You'll notice that we can't exit this. Absolutely not. So you have to pay the thing. Congrats on one million gold to pay! I knew you could take the heat, Luger. We've completed preparations in accordance with directions from President Bakor. Please make your way to the Spurious offices with all due haste. I'll be waiting for you. So be it. Alright, let's go buy some stuff. And then be on our way. Let's see if there's anything worth making. Alright, let's switch Muse in here. I like Muse because she has great healing spells. And let's go. Welcome back. Hold your horses. Only authorized personnel pass this point. All right, so you'll come with me? Of course. We didn't come here just to sit in the lobby. Very well. If that's Vice President Kresnik's decision, I will abide by it. Luger's been made Vice President of Spurious? Correct. His promotion is effective immediately. <sniffs> you may use the CEO's office as you see fit, until he returns from his departure. This way. Promoting Luger to Vice President out of the blue. They're up to something. <laughs> Huh? Before we jump to any conclusions, let's go get the whole story. Do you have a minute? I'm sorry to bother you, but I wanted you to have this. I know you're no stranger to suffering, shouldering even burdens that aren't yours to bear. I All right, so we got some skill tomb. The CEO has left you a message. Luger, if you're watching this, know that I intend to travel to the land of Canaan and put an end to Origin's trial. This'll be interesting. But not before I tell you the full story. You see, it was all a game. The Fractured Dimensions, Canaan, all of it. Just a giant game, created by the primordial spirits, Kronos, Maxwell and Origin. That's right. And they've been playing it ever since humanity figured out Spyrex two millennia ago. The three spirits disagreed over whether humans could truly control Spyrex technology or not. So they devised an experiment to reveal mankind's true nature. They wanted to see for themselves if human beings were capable of resisting the temptation of ultimate power. This was before the schism, you see. Back in the old days when Maxwell still trusted humans. So the Chromatis was a test. 
Kronos granted the Chromatis to the Kresnik family as a means to measure how well humans can suppress their base desires. If someone reaches the Great Spirit origin before a million divergence catalysts appear, mankind passes the test. If no one does, then mankind fails and the spirits leave. That was their pact. <laughs> but here's the catch. The game was rigged right from the very start. As was passed down, Origin will grant the wish of the first human who comes before him. No human could resist such a prize. It fostered greed amongst the people. As a result, the Kresniks were constantly at war over it. Thanks to all of their bickering, catalysts and fractured dimensions have multiplied like rats. A vast number of people across all the dimensions transformed into catalysts, and as a result, were destroyed. It's likely now that their number is approaching one million. The Spirius Corporation was established to put the brakes on this whole disaster. I haven't forgotten the reward I promised. You no longer have to worry about that pesky loan. Now, just leave the rest to me. I will create the world that your generation deserves. Hey, Luger! You're not gonna believe what just happened! The bank president stopped by just now, and guess what? He said that I don't need to bug you about your loan anymore! What? How'd you manage to pull that off? Wait, you're not blackmailing anybody, are you? You verified the reward. Bakor left for the land of Canaan, correct? Yes. He promised to tell us how to get inside. I wasn't informed. All right, if that's how you want to play it, then let me ask you this. How does he plan to make it past Kronos? The Chromatis came from Kronos. Bakor wouldn't be able to use it against him. I don't know. What happened to El? Excuse me, I'm running late for a meeting. You know, I'll bet you that the CEO is planning to use El to kill Kronos. Uh, Director Rideau! I believe our guest's business has concluded here. D we're not finished here! All right, so we're gonna go downstairs. But first, you want to go to floor twenty to pick up something. All right, just talk to the researchers. Alright, there it is. Let's take a look at the sword. Alright, here it is. Wow, that is a pretty good sword. All right, there's that sword. Okay, now that you're done that, you want to exit out of here? Actually, all right, there, there's another stop at the 30th floor, apparently. So go into the DOD room 
And Rideau is over there. We have to go there later. Alright, so you gotta remember this code here. It really depends on your game, I believe. I'm not really sure, but you could try punching in this code, or keeping it on memory banks. Alright, yeah, the code is unique, so you, you need to uh, remember it. Alright, time to talk to Rideau, and the next one will influence Beasley. Forgive me for my silly comments back there. How might I help the new vice president? Alright, of course we want to know what's going on. Sorry, but I'm afraid that is top secret. L was the true key of Kresnik. Origin's power flows through the key. One only comes along every few generations, and the key is the trump card in the trial. As you can imagine, he or she is always at the center of Kresnik's family feuds. The most recent key was the CEO's wife till she was killed. Not that you have any relation to that one. Oh wow, the CEO's wife was killed. Precisely. The Prime Dimension's true key of Kresnik. Years ago, the CEO used his wife's power in a battle against Kronos. It cost her her life. That didn't sit well with the eldest son. He fled the nest and started his own family, or so the story goes. <sighs> to make a long story short, the only way to reach Origin is to defeat Kronos. And the only thing that will defeat Kronos is the power of the Void, which is wielded by the key of Kresnik. Of course, the power needed to beat Kronos would immediately transform the key into a divergence catalyst, and that's the rub. <laughs> oh, please, don't try to act so high and mighty. You had no qualms at all about using the girl's power willy-nilly. <clears throat> Luger? Damn you! Ah, you must have heard more details from Rideau. He was only supposed to keep you occupied. I'm sorry for tricking you, but please understand. This sacrifice is necessary to make a world purely for humans. Alright, so L1 will greatly increase Beasley. Yes, you heard correctly. When I finally fulfill Origin's trial, I will wish for all spirits to surrender their will. They will become mankind's loyal tools. What? But do not worry. Their first task will be to eliminate all fractured dimensions. <laughs> Give me that. Luger, it's me. Hell? I'm gonna fix it all so you don't have to do scary stuff anymore. I'll use my wish to make sure nobody ever has to disappear again. Mr. Bakor says that only I have the power to do that. So don't come after us, okay? I'm fine, really. I know I broke our promise, so I'm sorry. Forgive me. L. I'm sorry. The GHS 
desk you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please try again. Nothing to do now but leave things to the CEO, I suppose. If we go charging in, he'll just use us, just like he's going to use L. Shut up! All right, I'm going to go over a bit of my review on the situation. I think that this guy is actually related to Beasley. Because I think the older son or whatever ran away and then started a family. And then that family was um, Luger's dad or, you know, Luger's dad. <laughs> and then what happened there was Luger had a family and... Since it, only Kresnik can ha become the key of Kresnik. So I, I guess that's how his daughter became the key of Kresnik. That's what I think. You know, that's my uh, review of what I've seen so far. Let's buy some stuff. Now, I think he's totally crazy. He's planning to make a world of only humans. And it's like killing spirits. I don't know. It's like... All right, there's spirits and all, but that's just like, hey, let's kill all the chickens, you know, or, or, or something like that. Let, let's kill everything. It, it, it's kind of absurd. So he's kind of definitely a bit crazy there. You know, you can't kill everything. If you continue to resist, I'll call security. We're not going anywhere until we hear the rest of the story. Luger. Did you find out anything? <laughs> Turning spirits into tools. So that was Bakura's plan all along. And to think he'd use a little girl like Elle. Not if we can help it. Let's get to Kanan. How do we get inside? We must find Julius. He will know how. We better hurry. Alright, this one will decide who you will fight. If you, uh, L1 is to fight Jude. R1 is to fight Mila. So we're going to fight Mila because it increases her stuff. Hold on. The vice president is not to leave the premises. CEO's orders. Wait. Huh? Mila? Luger, you know better than anyone just how fragile this world really is. No one would blame you for turning back and enjoying the life you've made for yourself. You seem determined. And yet, appearances can be deceiving. I'll judge your conviction myself. Are you two really okay with this? Jude, please do not interfere. All right, what you want, what you want to do is you use a syrup bottle Right at the beginning. Test your will. Here and now. And he can't transform anymore because L is not here. Ah, uh, why does Mila? Ah, oh, Mila has a lot of health because we put her with like a Onyx, black Onyx thing. Alright, you want. You definitely don't want to equip Mila with good stuff. Farewell. Condemnation. Oh, great. Sigil Severe. No. Armor Crusher, Armor Crusher. Yeah. 
Oh boy. Alright, you wanna heal. Oh, are you serious? How did he do that? How did he transform without, uh, what's her name? <sighs> it appears that you are still fully capable of using your chromatis. <laughs> That can only mean that L is calling out to you. Good, it's settled. Let's go. <laughs> Had to have the last word, huh? Not a step further, Vice President Kresnik. I know it sounds cliche and all, but orders are orders. Move, Ivor. I don't have time for your games. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot do that, Lady Mila. <laughs> I never realized bossy girls were such a turn on. So cold, so ruthless, so. <sighs> what a creep! Need assistance? Hope you don't mind. Well, well, well. The royal pain has come to hold court. But my head will roll if I don't stop Luger from leaving. And I happen to like my head. You think your corporate cronies can stop us? They dispelled my arts! How is that possible? It's the Lance of Kresnik. A portable version, sure, but as you can see, it gets the job done. This will be fun. I wonder if Lord Maxwell will moan as I suck the mana out of her. Don't speak to her like that! And how dare you speak to your boss like that! <laughs> You'd risk your life to save this sniveling coward? You really are a benevolent deity. He's still my handmaid. I don't recall ever dismissing him from the position. Lady Mila. Such a stubborn and proud spirit. But not for much longer. Any ideas, Luger? You'll be tested here, in the underground training area. These caverns stretch all the way to Triglef city limits. You could head straight out of town from here. Alright, L1. Get to that elevator. That's easier said than done. We'll need bait. You can show everyone else the way. All right, send Jude if you want Mila. Send Mila if you want Jude. L1, because we want Mila. Leave it to me. Don't die. Not here, I won't.
It's clearly a diversion. Look out! Go on ahead. Don't let them get away. 